Hi everyone, it's Monday, November 2nd here in Seoul. Welcome to Korea Now, and these are your daily headlines. The U.S. presidential election is in two days, and South Korean officials are busy preparing for the next administration, scrutinizing key policies of the two candidates. A ministry official said, We've been working to analyze the two candidates' election pledges, particularly in light of foreign policies and their basic stances on key issues and how they would impact us. If President Donald Trump gets re-elected, he has to keep up with America first foreign policy, pressure South Korea for defense cost sharing, and resume stalled denuclearization talks with North Korea. If Democratic rival Joe Biden gets elected, America's foreign policy is rather expected to focus on strengthening ties with allies, including South Korea, but putting tighter sanctions on North Korea. The New York Times reported Monday that South Korean government prefers Trump's re-election, while its citizens prefer Biden, since the current Moon Jae in government seeks to advance its peace drive and engagement policy toward North Korea. Meanwhile, ahead of the election, North Korea is continuously criticizing the U.S., saying that South Korean government is being humiliated and poorly treated by its ally. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un sent a message to pro-North Korean residents in Japan, encouraging them to continue friendly relations with Japan and make sure to be safe from the COVID-19. North Korea has been criticizing Japan, but aside from that, urged members of the General Association of Korean Residents in Japan, or Chongyun, to adopt a Japanese society and cooperate for the development of its community. Previously, North Korean media strongly criticized Japan for pressing Germany to remove the statue symbolizing victims of Japan's wartime sexual slavery, calling it a brazen and shameful act. It also strongly opposed Japan's entry to the UN Security Council, calling it a greedy ambition. However, Japanese Prime Minister Yoshihide Suga has said that he's ready to meet Kim Jong-un without any conditions. K-pop superstar BTS is to unveil its highly anticipated new single, Life Goes On, at this year's American Music Awards, scheduled for November 22nd. It is the title track of the upcoming new album, B, which will be released on November 20th. BTS dropped two concept clips Sunday, giving a glimpse of the new album for their fans' armies. It also dropped the first individual concept photo with the member V, who is in charge of visual direction on the new album. Meanwhile, BTS's music video of Fake Love became the third music video to hit 800 million views. The band also recently had an exclusive interview with NDTV Friday and met with Indian fans. And those are your top stories for today. For full-length articles, you can always check out our official website linked down below. And don't forget to subscribe to Korea Now for more daily updates.